Let's take a look at what kind of attributes we have on our geometry. So I'm going to just um, maybe uh, make the viewport a little bit bigger. And then I want to make sure my visualizer is on right here. This little Google Maps looking icon. You can kind of scroll your middle mouse button or wheel down if you can't see it. Um, I'm just turning that on so it's ready to take visualizers. You can see there's all these visualizers I already have. But uh, basically the way I want to uh, look at this is I want to just um, go to, uh, you know, select one of these nodes and just hit the I button right here. And then we can kind of see what kind of attributes we have here. So we've got CD is the color attribute that's kind of making this purple heat map looking thing. Uh, curve view is actually, if we click on curve view, curve view is an interesting attribute. It's a zero to one value that basically, it's a value that runs from zero to one along the length of a curve. So you can see that um, the beginning of the curve is this blue color. So that means it's zero. And then it runs all the way up to one as we get to the end of the curve. This can be handy when we're trying to shade. So when we're trying to add like an emission value like we did with our particles, we could use curve view as a mask and drive it with a ramp. Um, another attribute is p-scale and clicking on p-scale doesn't really show much I mean you can kind of see that it's trying to show us what values are occurring here But essentially just like how particles were built I have um, built in a scaling along this curve so I can actually taper this curve um, And make it wider and thinner based off of this p-scale attribute um, The other attribute that is here is the random attribute and you can see when I click on that each um, spline gets a unique color um, because that will allow us to add randomness per spline to our shader if we want to. So that's kind of cool that we have these attributes here. We can keep those in mind when we go to um, build our shader in just a sec.